Good morning children. I hope you all are enjoying the lessons, quiz, live worksheets, activities we are sending to you all. Uh, and also you are understanding the concepts done. Okay, so today let's start with our today's maths class. I am continuing, we are continuing with the chapter fun with give and take and the topic which we will cover today is subtraction with borrowing. So the learning objective of today's class is students should be able to subtract three digit numbers by borrowing and also understand why it is not possible to subtract bigger from smaller number and at the end of the class you all will recall subtraction of three digit number without borrowing understand when to borrow from the next number or and also able to solve subtraction sums with and without borrowing all are very familiar with subtraction sign so let's understand it with a very simple example if you, suppose you have five apples and uh, one of your friend came to, came and visited you and he was hungry so what you did it you had five apples and you gave him uh, apple to eat so out of the five he ate two apples he ate two apples so how much ap apples is left three so this is the case when there are more number of apples and the number of apples that has been used is less okay now suppose you gave five apples to your friend and he ate five that means five is there and he ate five apples so now when you want to find how much is left nothing is left with you with you isn't it so this is the case when the number of apples which was there and what and how much was used up is equal so at the end nothing is left with you now if it is the case that your friend is wants to eat more but is it possible for you to give him more apples in this case for example if suppose you have five apples and your friend want to eat uh, one more that means he has already eaten five so suppose he want to eat six so is it possible for you to give him six apples no it is not possible okay so but he is your best friend so what you will do you will try to give him one more apple from where you will get you will go to somebody and borrow from that person and then give him the required amount of apple this is the case when we this is the case when we borrow when the when you have to subtract from a lesser number then we borrow so uh, children in your previous class also you have done this subtraction poem and you also many of you must remember and must have learnt also in grade 2 um, this uh, subtraction poem uh, it will help you to do to do the subtraction so first one uh, it says more on top no need to stop that means if you have more you can subtract directly Sec then it says more on the floor go next door and get 10 more so it is the case when uh, when there is more at here you will see there is more at the floor than up so it will go next door and borrow and number the same zero is the game when the numbers are same and you want to subtract the answer at the end is zero let's recall what you have done in your previous class Mm, sub, suppose you have to subtract 204 from 538 so first step is to arrange in column we arrange it in column then look in the ones place think can I take the bottom number away from the top number if yes go ahead go ahead and subtract so here when we look at the ones place you are able to uh, take away 4 from 8 so we are going to go ahead and subtract 
so when we subtract from 8 4 we get 4 in the ones place then repeat for tens place and hundreds place as we did for ones place we will now look at the tens place and then if it is possible to subtract we will subtract so from 3 it is possible to take away 0 so we get 3 after subtracting 0 from 3 then in 100 place also when we subtract 2 from 5 we get 3 so we get our answer as 334 so now we are going to see how we are going to do subtraction with borrowing for example let's take we have to subtract 345 from 762 so again our first step is always to arrange in column so we arranged the number in column then we look in the ones place after looking we'll think can I take the bottom number away from the top number if yes we have to go ahead and subtract if not we will go to the next step so let's see what is there in the ones place in the ones place we have 2 and 5 so is it possible to take away 5 from 2 no it is not because 2 is smaller than 5 same uh, uh, which I explained with the example of apple as the number of apple required was less you went to someone and borrowed in the same way 2 cannot give 5 away so it will go to 6 the next neighbor it will go to the next neighbor that is 6 and borrow from it when you want to borrow uh, from the tens uh, we have to write the number on the top and give 10 to the other number so now what is which number is there in tens is 6 so we borrow from 6 so 6 get reduced to 5 and it will give 10 to the 2 ones place so in the ones place now this 10 uh, becomes 12 because it has given 10 to so uh, 10 plus 2 is 12 now what are we going to do we are going to subtract so now from 12 it is possible to subtract 5 so when we are subtracting 5 from 12 we get 7 as you are answer then we again we are going to repeat for tens and hundreds please now what you are going to do is let's see is it possible uh, to subtract 4 from 5 yes it is possible so we are going to go ahead so 5 minus 4 is 1 now what is there in the hundreds place 7 from 7 is it possible to subtract 3 yes so what we do we subtract and we get our answer as 4 so our final answer is 417 so I hope this is clear to you if some children it is not clear please repeat the repeat the video and understand it before we go ahead with doing doing further questions so now let's practice some questions based on the concept which we have learned today I want you all to write date and write the heading uh, subtract subtract with borrowing and then we will proceed with the questions uh, children if you want to check what you can do is you can just pause the video and try to solve yourself and then check what uh, what I have explained to you in the uh, video so let's uh, start doing first step always we know is to arrange the number in column so we are going to arrange it as 452 minus 272 okay so now uh, first we will see the ones place and see is it possible to subtract from 2 2 yes it is possible so 2 minus 2 is 0 now in the tens place is it possible to subtract 7 from 5 no it is not possible so what 5 will do it will go to the hundreds place and borrow so when it borrows 4 get reduced to 3 and uh, 5 becomes 15 so now it is possible to subtract 7 from 15 so when you are subtracting 7 from 15 you get 8 and 
from 3 it is possible to subtract 2 and we get 1. So we get our answer as 180. Now second one we arrange start with arranging the number in column. Okay, here you will see it is given 445 minus 62. Please don't uh, do this mistake by writing 62 here. It is completely wrong. Read. Read the number which is given. It is given 60. 60 means it is 6 tenths. So 6 will come in tenths place. So 60. Two. When we are subtracting this, again we are going to follow the steps. We are going to see in the ones place, is it possible to subtract 2 from 5? Yes, it is possible. So when we subtract 2 from 5, we get 3. Now, see in the tens place, is it possible to subtract 6 from 4? No, it is not possible. So, 4 will borrow from the hundreds place. Uh, this 4 will get reduced to 3 and 4 will become 14. So now 14 minus 6 is 8 and 3 minus here it is nothing means there is a 0 here. So 3 minus 0 is 3. So your answer is 383. So now you know how many of you got it correct you practiced no? Okay, let's, let's practice few more questions so that the concept is much more clear to you. Let's practice some more questions. Children, anytime you can pause it, do it yourself and then check. That way you will understand it more better and you will see where you have done mistake if any. So let's, let's start first arranging it in column. Okay. 305 minus 160 okay so now is it possible to uh, subtract 0 from 5 in the ones place yes it is so 5 minus 0 is 5 in the tens place is it possible to subtract 6 from 0 no so 0 will go to 3 and borrow so 3 will get reduced to 2 and 0 will become 10 so 10 minus 6 is 4 and in the hundreds place 2 minus 1 is 1. So your answer is 145. We are going to do D now. Let's arrange it in column. H T O 607 minus 159. Now in the ones place it is not possible to subtract 9 from 7. So it will go to the tens place to borrow. But the problem here is in the tens place we have 0. So it cannot give anything. So it will go to the hundreds place and borrow first. So when it borrows from hundreds place 6 get reduced to 5 and 0 becomes 10. Now it will give to ones place when it is giving one to the ones place this 10 get reduced to 9 and 7 becomes 17 so now it is possible to subtract 9 from 17 so when we subtract we get here 8 and it in the tens place 9 minus 5 is 4 and in the hundreds place 5 minus 1 is 4 so when so we got our answer as 448 few more questions we will see okay so let's start arranging first 900 minus 216 so when we start arranging in the ones place not possible to subtract 6 from 0 so it will go to tens place to borrow but here again tens, 10 in the tens place we have 0 so it will go to the hundreds place. So when it gives so 9 get reduced to 8 and in the tens place we get 10 in, instead of 0. So now this 10 gets reduced to 9 and this 0 will become 10. So this is double borrowing so now from 10 if you subtract 6 you get 4 
from 9 you subtract 1 you get 8 and from 8 you subtract 2 you get 6 so we got our answer as 684 and the last question we are going to do arrange in column okay and then subtract from 3 it is not possible to subtract 7 so it will go to the tens place 1 get reduced to 0 and 3 becomes 13 so 13 minus 7 is 6 now in the tens place there is 0 from 0 it is not possible to subtract 7 so it will go to hundreds place it becomes 7 and uh, in the tens place then you get 10 so 10 minus 7 is 3 and from 7 minus 0 it is equal to 7 so you get your answer as 736 so this was the last question children i hope the concept is clear to you if not please repeat and see the video again because this is the base if this is not clear you cannot do further questions in any of the higher classes or thing uh, so uh, that's all for today thank you so much children